This video was sponsored by oddbeachexpress.com. Oddbeach Express Stock Media by subscription is a new site that offers high quality broadcast resolution stock media content. Their content includes stock footages up to 5K resolution, music, sound effects, images, and After Effects templates. Sign up today for a free account at oddbeachexpress.com and receive 19 free pre selected stock media downloads. No credit cards, payments, or obligations required. Create your free account today. What is happening everyone and welcome to my After Effects tutorial. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to create some awesome clean lower thirds in Adobe After Effects. So what you see right now on the screen is what I'm going to show you today. And at the end of this video, you're going to have enough confidence to create some of your own designs and animate them in After Effects. I'm going to show you the workflow, I'm going to show you the technique and uh, I'm going to show you everything that I know. So with that being said, let's get started. Now these three right here are my personal favorites. I'm going to show you something like this, right? And I would like to say that this template is available for free on my channel. So if you like what you see right now, uh, then you can get this and you don't have to pay anything and you can use them in your own YouTube videos or Facebook videos. So with that being said, let's get started. I've already created my tutorial composition. Right, I'm gonna create a new shape layer. I'm gonna rename this to box one, and I'm gonna double. I uh, actually, I'm gonna not double click. I'm gonna open this tool. I'm gonna go to add rectangle, and I'm gonna go to add fill. I'm gonna change the color of the fill from here. I'm gonna make this a dark, you know, a dark gray color. I'm gonna open the rectangle path option, and I'm gonna break the link in the size option. Right, so I'm going to change the first value to about 500. I'm going to change the second value to about 90. Then I'm going to take my type tool in After Effects, click over here, and I'm going to say Motion Designer. Uh, the font that I'm using is called BBAS New. It's one of the most awesome fonts that is uh, available on the internet for free right now. And I highly recommend you getting it. I have used this in all of my premium projects, uh, for my client projects, and many, many YouTube templates. Uh, so it's definitely awesome, right? Definitely check it out. I'm gonna reduce the scale of the text a little bit. So I'm gonna move it right there, all right? And uh, I'm gonna select both of these layers and I'm gonna give them a color. Uh, basically, we want to, you know, color them in one color. So this way we know that this is one set. Now, I'm, I'm, uh, and you also want to make sure that both of these layers anchor point is in the center. One easy way of doing this is to use a script called move anchor point. This is available for free. So uh, usually I don't really include scripts in my tutorials. I want to show, uh, you know, the basics of everything, but this is for free and this is very handy. Your workflow is going to improve like crazy. So I'm going to use a script and I'm going to click in the center. So this way the anchor point jumps to center and we're good to go. Now this is good. Uh, I'm going to parent this text layer to the pre-composition. Now you could have pre-comped the text layer if you want, if you're trying to create a template, but I'm going to skip that part uh, in this video. Then I'm going to duplicate both of these layers. I'm going to push the duplicates up like this, and I'm going to color them in a different color code. So we know that we are working with set two or set one. I'm going to bring this duplicate down. I'm going to see to it that both of these layers were selected, and I'm going to bring both of them down like this. Right, and I'm gonna change the color of box two to a light gray color, something like that. And I'm gonna change the color of the text by clicking on the text and changing the color uh, like so. Let me make it a little bit more dark. Super, that looks good to me. Now, if you were to scale down the box, you can see that the text is gonna follow along because we have parented the text to the box. Super, I'm gonna place it right there. I'm gonna create a new adjustment layer. And I'm going to call this slant. Uh, now you could animate this right now if you want, if you're into this. But uh, as you can see in this example, I have all of my lower thirds in a slant way. This looks really nice, especially if your client wants a little trendy, you know, a different, unique style of design. Um, and also, in some cases, you have to animate them like this because, uh, you know, the, the, the logo of the company is also written in a slant typeface. So if you want to do something like that, go to this adjustment layer, add it over there and go to an effect uh, called uh, transform it's going to be in the uh, in the distort category and uh, there you go I take it and apply it to the adjustment layer that we just made and increase the skew from or actually decrease it to minus seven um you know uh, you could go to minus seven but in my opinion minus ten is a little too much so i'm just going to go to minus 7.5 right now um 
what I would say is do not work like this. The only reason I created the adjustment layer is to see how the design looks when it's in that slant position. The way I would work is I would remove the eyeball from the adjustment layer and then work accordingly, right? So now we can focus on moving things around and animating them as we like. But if you are working, you always want to work without the slant. Once you're done, you can just switch on the slant and your animation is going to update. So one way, one simple way of doing the animation would be going to the first second mark uh, selecting both the boxes layer, hit the position key, shut the animation, move back in time, and then we'll just, you know, simply, like nothing much, we'll just move the boxes out like this. And since the, uh, since we have the parenting going on, like the text layer is being parented to the box, the text layers are moving out as well. I'm going to select both the keyframes, hit the F9 key, go to the graph editor, select both of these over here, push them to the left like this, and you're good to go, All right? The animation is definitely there. Um, what you could do is you could push the the second group a little bit off so you could just 10 frames off them, right? You know, give them an offset of 10 frames. And this way, they, they're going to come a little bit later, right? If that is what you're into. If you uh, put, put on the slant option, and if we also enable the motion blur, this is going to look something like this, right? I, I think it looks really nice. Now, if you're into the reveal type, like if, if you're not into this and you want your uh, lower third to be revealed in a certain way, then one easy way to do that is to basically, uh, you don't have to do this, I'm just duplicating my tutorial composition to show you the technique. But uh, what you could do is, I'm going to bring them back here, remove the position keyframes, right? And um, what you could do is you could animate uh, the box first, right? So you want to remove uh, the parented text layer so you make them none right you go to both the box one and box two or actually let's just focus on one box at a time so I'm going to use some move anchor point script again basically what I want to do is I want to take this anchor point and I want to place it Oops. I want to place it right there right now I could do it manually but again I you know since you have the script you might as well use it right I'm gonna uh, you know press the S key on the keyboard animate the scale right move back in time break the link and then oops change the first key uh, you know axis to zero go to the second option animate the scale over there move back in time break the scale, uh, break the link and go to zero right and uh, you know and as you can see there's going to be a problem here is because we haven't changed the position of its anchor point so we'll remove the animation that we just did no worries uh, select this layer, go to move anchor point and we'll push it over there. Now we will animate the scale, move back in time and we'll make this zero. Right? Select both of these scales, F9 them and then we'll just, right, this way, superb. Now awesome people, what we'll do is we will duplicate this, right? So you, you remember how we color coded uh, the group of the layer? So if we duplicate something, it is still going to have the red color. Right, so you if, if you're getting confused with a lot of layers, maybe you're animating three titles, right? One main title and two subtitles, uh, like the example right here, right? Then if you're getting confused, then always look at the color codes, okay? And what we'll do is we will select this motion designer, the, basically the text layer. It can be your pre-comp if you like, but and we'll change it, the track mat of that, to alpha mat, right? And now if you play it, you'll see that the text is being revealed like that. Right, and uh, we'll do the same thing with box two. Right, we'll duplicate it first. So again, we're having the same color code. Push this layer on top of the text layer, and we'll select the text layer. Then go to track mat options. If if you don't see it, right click columns, and there's gonna be. I think it comes with. Uh, I'm not sure, guys, but I think it comes with modes. Right. So if you don't see it, go to columns, switch on modes, and there's gonna be there. And go to alpha mat. Select alpha mat. Now, if you play this, there you go. One uh, thing I would like to tell you guys is to select both of these layers and parent it to the box layer, right? So what's going to happen is if we move the box layer around, right, uh, our animation won't be affected. Like we don't have to worry about moving the text layer or, or anything like that, right? Um, and actually, I think there's a problem in this technique. Yeah, okay. Uh, what's happening is the, uh, the these two text layers are also copying the scale animation. So here's an idea: we'll remove the we'll remove the parented option. We will create 
a new null object and we'll call it controller right controller 1 controller 2 and what you could do is you could you know take this group 1 and you can parent it to controller 1 right you could take this group 2 and you could parent it to controller 2 so this way we can move the controller around right say if you want the position to be over here right and you will see that the animation is not affected at all right and that is how you create some clean lower thirds with a slant design of course you have to enable the slant uh, adjustment layer that we made to see the slant effect right right looks really nice so that is how you create uh, some simple lower thirds that look good and animate in that slant way thank you so much for watching my name is tj style and i will see you all next time take care everyone